Hey everybody, Nick Nack here, back again for another video. Now first off, fortunately, I have found my skeleton mask. On the negative side, however, I can't seem to find my Fatal Fury hat because my room's a mess from the convention and just cleaning up in general. But that's besides the point. So I'm left to use this Junpei hat. But anyway, as you see on the title down below, this is going to be a haul or pickup video of some stuff I've obtained at Anime Expo 2018. Anybody who's followed my channel knows full well that I do these types of pickup videos showing the stuff I've got at that con, and this year is no exception. And it might be probably my last year, because I'm trying to save or I might be a bit too busy for next year. But that's precise the point. Before I show you the stuff I've got here and there for, from the con, let me just give a brief summary of what I thought of this year's it Anime Expo. It was alright. On the positive side, I did cosplay, and for three of those days, people actually knew who I was. The day zero and day four, however, people didn't know because I was carrying a whole bunch of stuff, and on top of that, the thing I needed for my cosplay, I was forced to throw away because it was a sign. But, for those that want to know why cosplay does, check my Instagram, and sooner or later check my Facebook and Twitter, because I post a bit, like a bit of pictures there showing my cosplays and will probably continue to show him as the days go by from this video. But yeah, I was kind of proud of myself for cosplaying something different, and I liked it. Also on top of that, some market things is that the Artist Alley, Exhibit Hall, and Entertainment Hall were great places to be as usual. I took videos of it, We'll post it on my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, but I'm not going to show it here. So check those three social media sites out for like bits of it. Now for the negatives, if I were to give some negatives, first off, it was hot as fuck. I think the highest temperature it went to was like 112. Fahrenheit, if I'm not mistaken, and like, I had to wait outside like a bitch, because some of the things you had to line up for, and waiting up in line and that long ass sweltering heat, pissed me off. And speaking of lines, I tried to go to some panels, unfortunately, they delayed it as fuck, and some of them I just got kicked out of because it was at capacity and that fucking pissed me off. But that's just a negative. Let's just stop talking about that. I'm done with talking about AX and I want to show you the stuff that I picked up there because it's already about four minutes and some of you are like, get on with it already. And that's what I'm doing right now. So the first few things I want to show are a couple of things my brother's friend got. She didn't want it, so she just decided to give it away for free to some of her friends and me as well. And from her, I got this little Sailor Mars Tamashi Buddy. I'll probably display this and take it out of the packaging later on it with the rest of my pictures and also this weird absolute choco skin figure I have no idea what this is but they were in a bag and she just gave it to me for free so I'll display those with the rest of my pictures next things I want to show are a couple of things I got for free attending XC's panel First thing is this little 
type of visor or hat for fate at Stella, you know, like that Dynasty Warriors game, got this for free. And also this fan. This is the game they were promoting at the panel and most of their time was talking about it. It's called London Detective Mysteria and on the back is Senron Kagura. And that's some of the XD stuff. Next thing I got was just this free fan. They were like Funimation was giving this out of nowhere just for people. And this is the anime Full Metal Panic. Here's the front. Here's the back. Next thing I want to show are two tote bags I got from NIS's bit. And it's pretty much the same thing, but it says Prinny Squad. This is front. There's nothing on the back. And anybody who probably follows me on this channel probably knows why I bought two of these bags. But yeah, here's another one. The next thing I got I want to show are some stuff from Lab Zero Games' booth and their promotion of the game Indivisible. Yeah, uh, Lab Zero was giving like for having a free demo of their upcoming game Indivisible. I didn't want to play it because I just have no interest in demos in general because I want to experience the full game as a whole. But anyway, they, they had some free pins of their characters. Yeah, sorry for the blur, but here's what it looks like. And also, on top of having demos, they had a free autograph session. You get a ticket from them, and you get an autograph from the composer of the game. So, I got the autograph sound selection of soundtrack from the composer, Hiroki Takuta. Here's two of them. Anybody who knows me, Knows why I got two of them, but Hiroki Kakuda, he's the guy who composed the soundtrack for Secret of Mana and some other JRPGs and whatnot. But Mana is what he's most known for. So I had to get this. Unfortunately, I still haven't played Secret of Mana, so it sucks for me. Now that that's out of the way, Let's get on to some like random stuff that I picked up there, like small, like trinkets, uh, stickers, figurines, wait, not trinkets, acrylic scans, some smaller stuff I picked up at the main hall. First stuff I want to show is, I can't believe that they actually had merch of this, but Sanchi had this nice Bloodstained sticker pack. Had to get this because it was the only Bloodstained merch I've seen at Anime Expo. And that includes fan made stuff at the Artist Alley. Next up are these two packs of playing cards. Here's another Tales of Symphonia one. Like I, this is my second one I bought throughout Anime Expo. One, I bought one earlier at Anime Expo 2015, but that's besides the point. And here's a nerf pack of cards of the Anime Kuroko's Basketball. I've been a huge fan of this ever since I finished season two of it, so had to get that. And the last uh, small thing I picked up at the con is this acrylic stand for Persona 5. Basically, it uh, has their like 
all out the tech victory post. I made a video right now showing me unboxing it and seeing like my reaction and what character I got because these are blind boxes or blind bags. So let me transition to the video right now. Okay, just right here is a blind box acrylic skin. I have no idea what character this is supposed to be, but from what I know of, these are supposed to be like their all-out attack victory poses for each character. Let's see what character I got. I'm filming this with one hand, so it might take a while. And we're moment of truth after this, let's see who it is. And we got Yusuke. Nice. Love this character, so I'm happy that I got this. Shit, I like almost every single character in this game, so I don't really care who I got. Okay, now that I'm done showing you guys the box of Krellic skin, let's get on to Art Prince. Normally, every anime convention I go to, I just go completely crazy with buying Art Prince. However, this year, I decided to cut down on this because I have a whole bunch I still need to hang up and I'm not sure if I have any space for any more. So I decided to like lower it down to 5. So fortunately lucky me on that. But anyway, let's begin. The first three art prints that I got for myself are from a, the same artist. His name is Steve Yurko. And I'm currently a fan of this guy due to the variety he had in his art prints in the artist alley. Because most of the artist alley stuff I saw were mainly of the same stuff, like My Hero Academia, Pop Team Epic, Persona 5, some like Hamilton stuff, well, kind of it, like Bit Yuri on Ice, Overwatch, League of Legends, all the same shit. Fortunately, this guy did something different. So, the first art print that I got from him was this one of Sailor Moon mixed with King of the Hill. Had to get this because I'm a Sailor Moon fan and I'm a huge King of the Hill fan. I don't think I've even seen any King of the Hill stuff at anime conventions. That's probably the biggest reason for me getting this and you have to admit this crossover is or like mashup is pretty hilarious and amusing and funny so yeah one of the biggest reasons why I'm a fan of Steve Yurko is because he does some wrestling art prints and the last two are of wrestling here's your boys the new day here we go! Also, I'm gonna link his profile down below because I think I should give credit where credit is due to these artists at the convention. And the last print I got is quite possibly my favorite of all the art prints I've picked up during this anime expo. And that's of this. New Japan roster or like the best five of the company. First off I had to think it's awesome because of the holographic gold and of course it has New Japan's current best five. You got the Rainmaker, Tanahashi, Naito, Minoru Suzuki, and the Cleaner. Yeah, had to get this because also where in anime conventions do you find New Japan art prints? The last two of these prints 
are from a different person. However, they're from like the same artist. Like what I mean is different person, but yeah, sorry about that. I'm kind of having trouble with my work, but I'll link uh, her info down below. It says here her name is Ariel. Of course, link is in the info bar, but from her, the first art print I got from her is this Hamilton one. I'm currently listening to a bunch of Hamilton, the musical, and I freaking enjoy it, so I had to get some merch of it. And the second art print that I bought from her, and the last one in this haul is this one of Captain America Civil War. This is a unique take on it, had to get because it just was so amusing. And there weren't really any other options I could find of her that I personally wanted to get into or like get. But had to get this because I wanted to get something like MCU related. Of course here's Team Iron Man, Team Captain America, Iron Man's in the back, and yeah. Alright, so those were all the art prints. The next thing I got that I want to show was from the main hall, and that was this nice Sega Saturn figure. This is the only figurine that I actually bought during the AX Con that wasn't free. I had to get this because it was a great price, and I hardly even see any of these Sega Heart Girl figurines at convention. But yeah, I'll probably do a video of me assembling this and maybe making a review on it. But yeah, good price. Had to get this because I'm a fan of this concept Sega Heart Girl. And yeah, I'm thinking of probably doing a gender bent cosplay of this. The Sega Heart Girls in general. But yeah. The next thing I got that I want to show you is stuff that I picked up at the Square Enix booth. First off, although it's not like from the Square Enix booth per se, they Anime Expo was giving away this free bag. Here, here's the one of the sides promoting Kingdom Hearts 3 and here's the other side promoting Dragon Quest 11 now Square Enix's booth most of the things they had were just a bunch of demos for two upcoming games the games that were shown here Dragon Quest 11 and Kingdom Hearts 3 playable demos that people lined up for as with me, I have no interest in demos, but I decided to line up for the Dragon Quest demo because if you played through the whole 15 minutes of it, you got this free shirt. And it's of uh, this. Here's the front, and here's the back. It's in size large. So, that's one thing I like to say. Speaking of which, one of the best things about the Square Enix booth is that on Sunday and Saturday, I believe, the creator of Dragon Quest, Yuji Hori, he was there. And I really want to get an autograph from him. But unfortunately, I had to line up, and when I did make the line, one of his sessions was out, and the other session was already like, no more. So, that sucked for me, really wanted to get Zagra, and like, show you a picture of me with him in the future. Also, in the Square Enix book, they were giving away these three posters of Dragon Quest XI, Here's one side, 
and here's the arc side. Now unfortunately I haven't played the Dragon Quest game ever. Yeah, blasphemy me. I have a whole bunch of games, so please understand. But I want to get these for a future video or some stuff that I'll do in the future. And the last few things I want to show that I picked up are the yeah, final things I'm showing in this video. Now one of the boots that I go to the most during the Anime Expo is Atlas. Atlas fortunately had their own booth again here and they were promoting like some merchandise for their upcoming games Persona 3 and 5 Dancing Moonlight and Dancing Star Knight and I bought these acrylic scans of a whole bunch of characters. The first two are from Dancing in Starlight and the other three are in Dancing in Moonlight. Here's a acrylic stand of Yusuke and Futaba. Here's Makoto and Haru. Here's Akihiko and Mitsuru. Here's Ken and Fuka. And here's I guess and Yukari. Had to get all those because they were just nice to look at and nice to display for my shelf up there. The last thing I got from their like buying from their booth is this great shirt that I had to get because it just looks so beautiful and I freaking love this character in general and here's this shirt of Mitsuru they also had shirts of Morgana, Futaba and I guess but I had to get this because she's a great character As with the rest of the booths, I'm going to show you what they had to offer in general on my social media sites. So if you want to know what they had, check that out. Also, whenever you like got some stuff to like buy from their booth, Atlas also gave you some free stuff. They gave me a free... Persona 5 art book that came from the Take Your Heart edition. Yeah, I spent like 70, so I got this for free. Also from their booth, every time they like had merch for sale, they tend to have a bag. And this is this year's bag. Here's the one side, Persona 4 5 Dancing in Scarlet. And here's the art side of Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight. And woo, I think this is like 20 minutes already. That's all the stuff that I picked up at Anime Expo 2018. Sorry that's like way too long, but I had to go all ham on this shit. And that's pretty much it for this video. So look forward to me making more streams and me making different videos and whatnot. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Take it easy and until next video.